today for lunch steak on the flat top griddle. What is it about griddle food you know, like you get in your diners that makes it taste so good? I don't really know. Maybe it's all those commingling and marrying of flavors on one of all that food cooked on one flat surface. I don't really know. Used to have a griddle, can't have one now, live in an apartment, so I've been looking for an alternative. I found a portable one you can use on top of a camp stove like it's run by butane. I'll leave a link in the description box of how you can pick this up if you're in the same situation I am. Now here's all of the seasonings that I'm going to use for my steak. I'll also leave that in the description box. So let's get started. Now, a room temperature steak, season it with just kosher salt and fresh ground black pepper. We're waiting on our griddle to come up to temperature, and when it does, go ahead and put your steak on there. Now, you can use oil if you like, but if there's enough fat on that steak, I like to render that fat down on that because it just seems to make the steak taste better in its own fat. Lay your steak down, make sure it's got good contact, cook it about two to three minutes on each side. After two to three minutes, give it a flip. You can see the sear that we've already developed on this steak, then add some garlic. Now you don't have to chop this garlic, just smash it up a little bit. Add some fresh thyme, and then I want to take my garlic and brush it across the top of my steak. This really gives steak a great flavor. In fact, garlic and thyme is something that most restaurants use to give steaks a great flavor. Also, butter. Butter makes everything taste better just like bacon. I'm not really sure which one wins, but I like them both. Then take your thyme, brush it across the top of your steak, and when your steak is done, go ahead and lay it on a plate. Let it rest for about five minutes and let all those juices redistribute back into the meat. Lay another pat of butter on that thing and let's cut it up and see how we did. Now I believe we got about medium rare to medium here just the way I like it. Tasty, juicy, and tender. I'm also going to cook up some taters and onions on the flat top. And I tell you what, nothing better than food on a flat top griddle. If you don't have one, get one. I guarantee you, you won't be dissatisfied. But guys, if you like the video, please like, subscribe. I really would appreciate it. It helped me out. And until next time, guys, I'll see y'all later. Enjoy this dish. Bye-bye, y'all.